was good family. It's your cousin in Christ, Millie Metanoia. Let me turn on his AC. You know, I had a I had a thought the other day. You know, I, I think it was a a Holy Ghost thought, a Holy Ghost revelation. Um and it, it was um, concerning righteousness. Okay, so the Lord's righteousness is, is perfect. His, his standard of righteousness is perfect. And so because of that, uh, because we need perfect righteousness to enter into heaven, um, none of us can make it into heaven unless we have his perfect righteousness onto us. Um, the Bible says that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Only in Christ Jesus are we made righteous in the eyes of God. So, if you don't have Jesus, then... Uh, hold on. Um, yes, can I please have a, a sausage McMuffin with egg and, and a... Uh, chicken McGriddle. You want chicken McGriddle? Anything else? Uh, nope, that's it. Thank you. Don't judge me. McDonald's is good, especially the breakfast. Come on now. Well, anyway, yes. Yeah, so uh, the only way we can make it into heaven is if we have uh, Jesus's perfect righteousness um, imputed onto us. So, therefore, if we don't trust in that, and if we feel like we need um, our own righteousness, or we need to, we must live, quote unquote, perfect, sinless lives in order to be considered righteous in the eyes of God, um, what you are essentially saying is that... Your righteousness is better than, than, hold on guys, hold on. Hi, good morning. 5.37. There you go. Yeah, what we're seeing is our righteousness is, is, is better than the perfect righteousness that God can. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. one of those situations where they don't got the they don't got the food ready so I gotta pull up to the front door. But well, anyway, it happens sometimes. So anyway. Where was I? Yeah, so what what you're essentially saying is that um Jesus' righteousness isn't good enough. It's not good enough. And therefore I need to add my own righteousness onto that um as an insurance policy. But you know and how, that's, that's dumb, that's really dumb, and essentially, if, that, if you think that way, you're not fully putting your trust in what Christ already did, what he already did for you, for me, for the whole world. Think about that. Well, anyway, I'm waiting for my food here, and uh, hopefully that 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 settles down in your in your soul and your spirit the way that it did did me. When that came into my mind, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Well, anyway, uh, this is your cousin in Christ, Melly Metanoia, and uh, if I get anything else, I'll come right back and I'll share it with you. All right. God has such a, a strange sense of humor. So um, I just came back from the McDonald's, you know, uh, got the receipt, 
and uh, the numbers on the top of the receipt. One, triple five. God bless me. <laughs> One triple five. Five is a number that represents grace. And it's a triple five. Triple grace. Triple grace. I, I don't know. That's just, I, I found that to be quite amusing. If you don't, that's, that's okay. But you know, it's at the end of the day, it's all about the grace of God. For by grace are we saved through faith. Right? I always confuse the rest of the scripture, so don't. <laughs> I'll put it, I'll put the exact scripture somewhere in, in this space right here. But uh, just know that uh, we are saved by grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. That's it. All that we're required to do is to believe. After getting saved, you know, we should, we should live a life that is representative of Christ. But we can't confuse should and must. We can't. We can't. We're all at different levels, you know, and um, God is doing a work on all of us. And through all of us. And in all of us. So, just, uh... Trust in the process. Have faith in the process. All right? Okay. I think I'm done now. God bless you all. God bless.